So, I started with this, and um, let's have a look. Does this work? Well, I'll tell you no. Why? I see. This is the limit as x approaching 0 plus. The usual trick of doing this is that you write x as e to the ln x power. They still cancel. x is positive, so this is good. And then you take this, raised to the 1 over ln x power. And you see this and that cancel. And you just have e. I want 0, I don't want e, so what do I do? So apparently this 0 is not big enough. So how do I make it even bigger? Now check this out. Instead of ln x, ready? This is what I did. Instead of, of ln x, yeah, I have ln x here. Let's take another ln. How's that? ln, ln x. Have a look. If we have ln of ln x, if x goes to infinity, the inside is infinity, ln infinity is still infinity. But here's the small part though. x is approaching 0 plus because that's how I said it. So what do I do? Inside here, I will have just to negate that because negative times negative will still give me the past infinity. So have a careful look right here. If I take the limit as x approaching 0 plus of ln of negative ln x, so let's do this on the side, we will get ln of negative ln 0 plus. Right? Okay, this right here will approach ln of this is negative. This right here, per our discussion, is negative infinity. Aha, and the negative negative, this is legit. Legit infinity, yeah? So it's ln of positive infinity, and that is going to give me still infinity. On the bottom, 1 over infinity, that will give me 0. So I have 0 to a 0 power form. So now let me just put that down right here. We will have 1 over ln of negative ln x power. And then we'll still do the same thing, right? x as that. Now we'll just multiply the exponents. So we have the limit as x approaching 0 plus of e. And then this is ln x over ln of negative ln x power. Guess what? If x goes to 0 plus, because e to whatever is continuous, we can just take the limit of the power. So this right here is the same as saying e to the limit as x approaching 0 plus of ln x over ln of negative ln x power. And the beauty is that here we get negative infinity. If you put it here, we get positive infinity per our discussion earlier. Well, the sign doesn't matter. We have infinity over infinity, so we can use Laputal's rule, which is very nice. Then, let's just go ahead and do Laputal. So this right here, take the derivative, and take the derivative. Again, this is because of the 0 to the 0, sorry, infinity to the infinity power form. Technically negative. So by Laputal, the base is still e. And then the power is the limit as x approaching 0 plus. Sorry, this is just like freestyle. I'm not really like organizing the board. Yeah, freestyle video. All right, this right here is 1 over x. Now check this out. If we differentiate the first ln, we will have, hold on. OK. If we differentiate the first ln, we put this on the bottom, so we'll have 1 over negative ln x, yeah? And then we differentiate the inside, the derivative of negative ln x is negative 1 over x. So have a look. This and that cancel, negative, negative cancel. So this right here becomes e, and uh, ln x goes to a numerator, yeah? So it's just limit as x approaching 0 plus of ln x. But this thing is this, which is negative infinity. And now we just have e to the negative infinity. You got it. Yes, that's 0. So this right here is definitely a much cuter 
yeah, it's a much cuter limit that will give you zero to the zero's power uh, being equal to zero for the limit.